What's going on everyone? My name is Mr. Boss for the win and welcome to my last episode of the first look series. This is going to be on the map Mirage. Now Mirage takes place in the Gobi Desert in China and uh, it's a really good map. I like it. Unfortunately, if I had to rank it amongst the other three maps, it would have to go four and there's just a few things that kind of bother me. To me, the map seems very stale. Lots of browns, lots of dark reds, and uh, you know, it does have really good color, but I feel like there's too many head glitching spots. Like that alley I just ran to, really frustrating when you've got a guy in the bus, a guy head glitching the car, a guy hanging out in the corner towards the car. You know, it's just something that bugs me a little bit, and that's really frustrating because that's a really main area that you need to go to in order to get to the other side of the map. There's more head glitching spots, like there's at least four windows that overlook B. B is very difficult to get. It is in a, um, you know, drained pool, so there's, it's just, you're in a ditch. So any grenade, any C4, any rocket is going to hit you, so flak jacket is a must. You can see it right here. It's just in that giant pit. This window overlooks it, that diving board, that window right across the hall, and then this little hallway, which I just ran into gives you incredibly easy access to this building. So uh, sometimes that can be a little frustrating. I kill a guy who is laying down on it right here. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? That guy's laying there. There's no B flag to capture in this game. It's TDM. And uh, by the way, a little bit about the gameplay. This is uh, two matches just combined together, two TDMs. So um, yeah, if you see the score change a little bit, that's why I'm just getting my best clips together that I thought were the most entertaining. And it will give you the best aspect of the map so that you could learn a little bit. Anyways, there's two real parts to uh, the Mirage map. There's this interior circle right here where the B flag is. There's a few underground routes and a few above ground routes. And then there is the outer ring of the map. The outer ring of the map is essentially the little path I'm walking on right now. It contains a few buildings, the A and the C domination flag, while the B flag is located, like I said, in that broken down pool. But it is, uh, it, you know, it encompasses this little circle of rings that I'm running into right here. This area gets very hectic just because, like I said, people blend in. If you crouch in a corner, you are going to blend into this little circle so easily. And uh, a lot of times that can be frustrating when you're looking around or you throw a stun grenade and you don't know where he is. And, uh, you know, it comes to bite you in the butt when you can't find him. And I can't believe I didn't get that kill right there. That was mildly frustrating. Anyway, so like I said, yeah, uh, there's a good mix of inner and outer uh, play of the map. I don't think score streaks are going to do very well on this map simply because, like I said, there's so many places to hide. Like, even in the outer ring of the map, there's little buildings. And uh, this guy right here was bugging the crap out of me. Southern Warlord, you, my friend, are incredibly annoying. This guy had bouncing Betty, shock charges, lane prone, and he finished the game like 8 and 11. I don't know how that's fun, but, um, you no, know, whatever beats me. So, yeah, I really like navigating this area. I, I try to stay towards the interior of the map, mainly because I can eliminate the BS that will kill me, um, meaning head glitching and rocket launchers and uh, hunter killer drones. So I'm trying to avoid those. And uh, what I do is my best strategy for Mirage is you've seen me pace through these little entrance ways. So there are three entrances to get towards the interior of the map from the uh, exterior. And uh, I just went to one right now. That little door on my right that faces the swimming pool is one. And then the other one near the money vault is the third one. So if you just rotate around, go back there, check your corners, uh, you know, kind of examine the area a few times, that is a really good way, uh, you know, to patrol an area and essentially get yourself a lot of kills because a lot of people are going to want to come towards the middle because it is a very popular spot. And if you can catch people before they get set up and get to the middle, uh, you know, it's it'll be really easy uh, for you to do well. And right here was a really funny moment. I'm screaming to my teammates. I'm like, you get that, get that care package right now. It's an orbital VSAT. I'm doing my best to fight these guys off because I know that one of the guys got to look at the care package, and so he's going to alert his teammates orbital VSAT. And so I'm trying to hold them off right here, and the guy who eventually got the care package is able to call it in and uh, able to save the day. But anyways, like I said, guys, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. You know, I really appreciate it when you guys watch the video and leave awesome feedback, especially on these newer videos. You guys have been liking these a lot. Like I said, though, I see four fail right there. Like I said, thanks for watching the video. A like and a subscribe would be favorite if you're new. Thanks for checking out the video. Have a nice day, and I will see you guys in the next episode.